when scientists and farmers work together, they can achieve a high production partnership. That's why the Minnesota Soybean Research and Promotion Council has nearly 20 research projects underway with scientists at the University of Minnesota. Let's see how some of these research projects can lead to smarter soybean farming. What kind of research is the University of Minnesota doing to determine the value of drainage for improving soybean yields? This particular study is, a, is really a long-term investment uh, by the uh, University of Minnesota and the Soybean Research and Promotion Council. Uh, it's an investment in research that we hope to, to generate data uh, for many years. 10 and 15, 20 years of information should be coming from this site after our initial investment. There haven't been a lot of long-term studies looking at drainage. The vast body of evidence uh, for drainage is, is anecdotal in some way. Either it's, it's observational that uh, farmers and, and researchers have seen when comparing a drained parcel versus an undrained parcel. Uh, or it's research that was unreplicated. The choice uh, to install drainage tile is, is an important one because it's a, it's a costly investment. The cost of drainage because of the technologies used hasn't increased as rapidly as the, as the farm price. And in fact, in the not so distant uh, past, uh, it may have cost the same amount to drain and improve the land through drainage as it did to purchase the land originally. And now it may be only 10% of that cost. Uh, so the value is certainly there for farmers and they can, they can see that. The value of drainage to any individual farmer is very dependent on, on a lot of factors. Uh, the soil types and, and the types of environment they're in, the rainfall patterns that they have. In addition, it's, it's, uh, the most critical issue right now is owned land versus rented land. Uh, and it's much easier for farmers to justify this on, on their own land, but uh, the negotiations required to install drainage tile on rented farms are, are quite complicated. I would talk through farmers about the types of things that they're doing currently to improve their yields. And farmers are investing a lot of their input costs into measures that may not have very much impact at all. Seed treatments or fungicide treatments or things like this can provide a bushel or two in yield enhancement, uh, but only for a single year. These are small costs annually to producers, but they're relatively unproven in terms of their value. It may be the farmers should be investing uh, their dollars into a long-term investment like a drainage on their farm. Drainage is a large investment, but it's one that really has a tremendous impact and is, uh, is good for a long period of time. And I think part of why we're seeing more interest in drainage now is technology. Farmers are using yield monitors and they can see right in the combine where they've installed drainage tiles in the past and where they've had excess water uh, during the season. So it's very visual to the farmer and they can, they can note it themselves. Yeah, by using yield monitors in the combine we were able to see tile lines and the benefit to having tile lines with increased yield. Uh, that and then being able to get in the field in a timely manner because uh, you like to go as soon as you can in the spring so it really helps to have the whole whole field is all uniform then so when you go in there you don't you're not going around spots or anything like that. It's helped tremendously. It's important to look at these things over a long period of time because we have different rainfall patterns and different climates year over year so we need to investigate this over a long period of time. Plus the value of that drainage process can, can change slightly over time, so it's important to look at, at that. And so we really hope to look at not just the overall value of drainage on the land, uh, but more about how farmers can manage drain land uh, differently than poorly drained soils in their, in their production systems. As soybean farmers, when you transform discoveries from science into higher yields in the field, you're providing the world with an abundant supply of safe and affordable food. You're advancing America's energy security through renewable biofuels. And you're protecting the environment by sustaining natural resources and building Minnesota's economy through higher productivity and profitability. Music